So I have Word 2016 open here. I'm just going to go over to the Insert ribbon, and in my Add-ins, I'm going to pick Mailchimp for Microsoft Word. So on the right-hand side now, I have the Mailchimp add-in as a task pane next to my document. So I can click Login to log in to my Mailchimp account here. So I'll just type in my username and my password. What that's going to do is log me into the Mailchimp service. It's going to go and pull through any of the lists that I have already registered within my Mailchimp service that I would have created through my web browser. So you'll see in my Mailchimp experience, I have this one list of all the developers that I've collected through my website of subscribers I can communicate with. And if I go and manage my subscribers and go view all subscribers in their interface, I can list the individuals in here and I can create segments, much like you can do with many other mail providers. And you'll notice here that we've got different products that have been captured that the user has, such as in this case, Jeremy has got Microsoft Office 2016, and Sonia has Microsoft Office 2013. So in the task pane now, I'm going to make sure I've selected that list and click Next. And it's going to pull back a bunch of data that's been collected through that subscriber list, which I can then use in this mail merge. So I'm going to pull some content directly into uh, my email. And you can see here, I've got the ability to have my images directly into um, the Word document. And I'm just going to add some tags. So I have the ability to just double click in here and I'll inject those tags directly into my Word document. And so I can say, I hope you're enjoying. And if I just grab the product that I owned and inject that in there as much as we are, and then please visit dev.office.com to find out more. And when I click next there, once I've added all the tags into my Word document, I can then go over here and have my campaign. And I can have a nice friendly email subject for this email campaign that I'm creating. And then I can just simply click Save Campaign. Now again, I've done all this without ever leaving Word um, to be able to kind of manipulate and create the content of my Word document and kind of create that campaign based on that list data that I have stored against my users inside MailChimp. I can jump over to MailChimp and actually view that campaign. So if I click over to Campaigns here, you'll now see that the Show Us the Love campaign is here. And if I click on the right hand side here, I can actually go through and view that email and see that it's created that email. It's showing me the tags that have been created um, within that system. All of the images have been pulled through and the hyperlink. So it's a great way of leveraging Word as an authoring environment, um, but then being able to submit that data directly into the MailChimp environment. Again, all without leaving the Word experience. So I hope that's given you a good idea about the MailChimp add-in for Word, which is available right now in the Office Store.